Okay, you know what I like to drink is ice coffee. But what do I like to eat? That's a good question. I get this question a lot because it's very important. Because I know how to live healthy. Maybe. So, everything healthy begins with bread. Bread is healthy. Um, just This means healthy in Norwegian. I know this for a fact because I speak the language, boy. To begin with this bread mixture pleasure, you need to have slices of bread. I can of course slice uh, bread very, very easily with one hand. Uh, and, uh, and, and another. And there, there you go. Of course, two slices of bread. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, three slices of bread is, of course, really good. And look at this very healthy bread. But for this perfect mixture of bread, you need one more. We all know how to do this. So, now, bread, bread is done, bread can go fuck itself. We don't need bread anymore, because we have the bread here, and here, and here, and here. And now you need a fork. But of course, you might not, don't have a fork, maybe you are maybe you eat without a spoon or something. Well, of course I would advise you to get a fork. But if you don't have forks, this bread knife goes very really well. Just um, like not exactly. And speaking of, this is what we use to have on the bread. It has omega three. Of course, that means it's good. Uh, that's what my mom told me, and I listen to her because I'm a good boy. If you can see him here, um, I, I don't really know, but that's not the point, because you, this is the basic meaning of life, bread with some fish, but this is not just special fish, this is Pleasure fish, fish with blood. I mean, uh, fish with uh, tomato. Okay, so this is my normal lunch for every day, also for breakfast, also for the evenings, dinner, everything. You have this, you get very good stomach like me. They call it one pack. Because you only need one pack, so you don't need backpack very easily, very good. So you take the fork and then you just. And now you have the complete fish meal. What I like to do is split it in half, have half on the one of the pairs of bread, and the second half on the other pair of bread. These are pears because they look alike, and they should look alike to be pears, I would say. Then you just smush it on, very on, very smush, smush. Do you know what rhymes with smush? What's not I know? What's your boy? Now that it's smushed on properly, very good. You can feel the smell. You can smell it smell, but you can feel the smell. So, away with your fork. But not exactly. This is what everyone has wrong. You see all this tomato blood? Well, that doesn't really work. And they just say, oh no. How can I get this on the bread? Here's one easy step. Take it like this. 
if you don't have a fork and you spoon for everything this is really easy so you can just do that but I don't want to wash a fork and a spoon do you think I have the proper equipment for my videos are you stupid like what the fuck I'm making fucking lunch today so when all the juices is out of the box you take each pair and then you just close it down close that down then you take that on top of that and then you get the secret recipe you can no no it's secret it's secret it's a plastic bag but you might well that's not secret not anymore but do you know what is secret what we are using it for are we using it to preserve the fish box no 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 are we using it to to ferment the bread no 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 we are using it because i don't want to wash anything really so i just use disposable bags disposable bags are good for the environment don't tell greenpeace it's good for um, the world's oceans it's good it's good for my patients it's good for um, choking a bitch out i heard that's pretty nice these days and it's pretty good uh, to pack your lunch because I don't want to carry a bag and now you have it in a nice plastic bag you can put it on the counter or if you're making it in advance you can put it in the refrigerator just there you go and then you might say well this is disgusting, I don't want to wash this up and that's why you just don't care and you go away because that's enough for you, you have made your food like you could buy your food from the store like a filthy cashier but now you feel like you have done something you have cut some bread, you have used the fork to simmer on some fish what more can you ask for? Food always tastes better when you make it yourself. I read on Tumblr. So, if you like this, of course you do. Am I supposed to eat this? Oh, fat.